we're going to talk about six things. Ray Rice, David, David Letterman, Letterman <laughs> Age of Ultron, <laughs> Black Ops 3, and the new Mountain Dew flavors. And Deflate Gate. Oh, you yeah. Have that one. But it's pretty hard to see on those. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have anything capitalized either. Okay. Well, you start off with Dylan. Alright, well, like we said, it's the first podcast. Um, we're going to try to either do bi weekly or weekly podcasts. Probably going to be weekly. Yeah, I hope so. As long as we can get enough space on everything. Um, right now, our production quality is not the greatest, but it'll go up soon because we're supposed to. Did I not stop that? We have big up. Alright, so we're supposed to. We're going to buy some more things, I think. At least I am. Maybe get a mic. Yeah. That'd be more important to get. Okay, we'll start off talking about Ray Rice. So, Ray Rice, NFL player. I wish I knew more about him. Actually, I don't because he's a bad person. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um, he basically beat his wife in the elevator. And it was caught on camera. And it was a big deal because the NFL tried to cover it up and dismiss it. And I guess he just had his trial the other day. And he's going to likely be back on next season. Yeah. <laughs> he's, the all charges were dropped, I guess. I don't even know if he got probation or anything. <laughs> That's not good because if you guys have seen the video, he knocked it crap out of that lady. <laughs> he was charged with third degree aggravated assault. <laughs> and it was dropped. <laughs> and the thing that I don't like is his wife went right back to him after that, I'm pretty sure. Or at least she did the first time. She might have finally left him, I don't know. But she's not very smart. Well, the NFL has a really bad history of letting players back in after they've broken the law or done something bad like and hitting his fiance and knocking her out in an elevator <laughs> on <laughs> camera. <laughs> I, I mean, they just tried to cover it up, and that's the bad thing, because... They had proof on a camera that they yeah. wanted to hide. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it, because there's not a lot to talk about for Ray Rice, because he just, he got off, and that's not fair. And he, his contract <laughs> was terminated but it will be cleared to play for any team who will have him. So that's not saying he will get back on, but that's saying he he could get back. He's a free agent right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet if anybody picks him up, it's going to be like the Raiders or the Buccaneers or somebody like that. Yeah. Because they those are two of the worst teams. Or maybe the Browns, because they need all the help they can get. And we'll keep going. Can you get going again? I don't know where we're at. It's 56. Oh, right okay. over the time. So do you want to cut this one, this one short, or do you want to go to the next one? Well, let's talk about the Deflate Gate. All right. And this one's more important to us because we're from Indiana. Yeah, we hate. And they cheated the freaking cult. Yeah. So basically, I'm pretty sure you guys know this one because it was all over the news. And so the Patriots playing the Colts. Deflated I, the ball. Yeah, <laughs> kicked the crap out of the Colts, and we wouldn't have won anyway. Yeah, I mean they had a good reason to deflate. It was rainy out. It made it easier to grip it in the first place. But you're not allowed to do it, and we just want an excuse to say <laughs> why we lost. We we would have won, man. I'm telling you. Now we probably still would have lost, but that's not okay because it wouldn't have been that much. Like it wouldn't have been beaten by that much. And here's a big from the Huffington Post five minutes ago. The woman uses a vitiary to declare Tom Brady deflate gate innocence. <laughs> Watch oh, I'll read that. Stupid lady, I bet she's from New England. <laughs> Oop. Okay. A Massachusetts woman. <laughs> <laughs> He was suspended for four games, and the New England Patriots were fined one million and docked a pair of draft picks after league investigator Ted Wells found that the Super Bowl champion 
used illegally and played footballs in the AFC title game, well found, well found the New England quarterback, at least generally aware of the scheme, Brady is appealing his suspension. <laughs> Yesterday, a firecracker blew up in my face. <laughs> it blurred up my eyes. I, I had a bad day too yesterday. <laughs> A blood flew in my ear and I slept my ear <laughs> and I couldn't hear for the next hour, so. Yeah, that's about all sorts of right there. I think the best part about that part. Yeah. I mean, just hits close to home because I've never ever liked the Patriots <laughs> my entire life. I mean, they cheat. <laughs> yeah, they, they've cheated before. I mean, their coach has been caught cheating. Like, they had a, uh, back when he a guy that ball. could read lips. So yeah. They didn't win before. Well, yeah, they. That's why whenever you see the NFL player like coaches, they're calling out plays. They always cover their face with a piece of paper because there was a guy that they were paying to sit up in the stands and watch the coach <laughs> calling out plays. And Deflate Gate, Wikipedia. Mobile friendly Deflate Gate, also sometimes known as Ball Gazi, is a controversy in the National Football League. That's what it says. I heard on the uh, on the news that they went they went through his text messages and they found out that he he was doing it. Yeah, he's just not a good person. Kind of sucked because I watched that game. Yeah, you know, I I didn't because I knew we were gonna lose, but I started to watch it. And then it started going downhill, so I just stopped watching it. <laughs> I knew we were going to lose, but, but you know, I still have to support my team. I knew he was guilty <laughs> whenever he had that press conference. And by the end of it, he was, like, getting irritated and everything because he knew that he was lying all the time. And all these people were pressuring him about it. <laughs> I thought that was funny. It was pretty funny. And there's a funny, really funny thing that came out of the Tonight Show from this. Um, they had all these Massachusetts mass. I can't. I can never say it's just the Massachusetts word. actors like do a comedy thing, like Ben Affleck and Jim from The Office. I don't know. It's like John Krasinski or something. <laughs> um, talk about why he was. Carol Brady does the hilarious impression of Tom Brady's press conference. <laughs> <laughs> I have the video on it, but I don't feel like watching it. Yeah. But he walked up there wearing a beanie, too. He looked like a New England fan wearing <laughs> the quarterback. He walked up there wearing a beanie and, like, a New England sweatshirt. It's not professional at all. You want to go to the next one? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're not talking about things from Indiana. We can talk about David Letterman, uh, recently uh, retired. He's a Hoosier from Indiana. Kind of sad. Great talk host. I never watched him too much, but I I, I did sometimes, but I never really loved his interviews because. They were funny. They had completely well, Yeah, but remember, did you see the Lindsay Lohan interview? <laughs> he, like, completely went after her. Mm -hmm. He was kind of, like, they had a whole rehearsal thing. And then he went after her on something they didn't say was going to be in the thing. So, that wasn't very nice of him. Even though he was probably paid by some higher up to uh, do that. How old is David Letterman? 86. Really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't look that old. <laughs> he needs to go to the dentist. Have you seen his teeth? Uh, I mean, yeah. He was for 21 years on that show. That's a long time. <laughs> yeah. He was actually, back in the day after Johnny Carson left, the night show he was supposed to be um, the next uh, person on the Tonight Show before, was it Jay Leno that took over Johnny Carson's spot? Mm -hmm. I think it was. Before he took over, and I guess him and Johnny Carson got in a fight, <laughs> and 
stayed with him, and yeah, like not a physical fight, but like a arguing, and so he did, he never got his chance on the Tonight Show, but he made his staple somewhere else. Did he better than fight? <laughs> Johnny Car, I think it was Johnny Carson. I liked, I watched the, uh, Adam Sandler, and he was, he made a, a guitar, he made a song, it was a pretty funny song, maybe yeah, I could find that. Adam Sandler makes very funny songs. Adam. Uh, Opera Man, and, um, so many, The Last Lady Land, <laughs> have you ever seen that one? No. It's so funny. Chris Farley's rolling on the ground. He he's dressed up like a lunch lady, and yeah. Have you ever heard the Sloppy Joe? Sloppy Sloppy Joe. I think I have. Because that's him. <laughs> <laughs> that's Adam Sandler back in his SNL days. Yeah, this tribute. It's pretty appropriate. It's pretty funny. I hope you can pick it up on. Hopefully you can. Not that long. I'm using your neighbor's Wi Fi. Okay. I think so we have Wi Fi. So. That's pretty bad. It's like a little too. Come on. <laughs> Corey, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I, I want to see this. There it is. Late show with David. <laughs>
Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for Xbox 360 or PS3, but that doesn't mean someone else is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wonder if it's coming out on PC. You want to watch the trailer over this? You tell me everything you know about it. Hmm? Tell me everything you know about it. It's a six minute freaking oh, it's an advertisement. I'm not gonna watch a six minute advertisement. Is there at least a skip? No, it's not! <laughs> Are you sure? I'm positive. Maybe we shouldn't watch that right now. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I have two mommies. That's why I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, I heard that Black Ops 3 could have more robotics this time. Yeah, but I don't know if they're doing, like, the EXO thing. I don't they're know doing if they're, the EXO thing. Well, I don't know if they're doing EXOs or they're just going to have, like, legs that you can have that make you jump really high. So, I but they I can't go backwards. In fourth grade, four years ago, <laughs> um, as soon as, like, I think it was Halo, one of the Halos came out, the new one, I think it was Reach, and yeah. the new Black Ops came out. And they were adding all this weird stuff. Well, I told my friend Noah, told him that Halo's gonna become more like Black Ops, and Black Ops gonna become more like Halo. <laughs> and I, and I can back this up pretty well. <laughs> yeah. So in Halo, right now you you they made it where you can make loadouts, and that that's just <laughs> making it more like Call of Duty. Yeah. Every, every time they come up with a new one, they're coming out with all this new stuff that's making it more like it. I have a lot more information on. Black Ops, though, or Call of Duty. So, yeah. for Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 comes out. You have all this new robotic stuff. <laughs> tracking, tracking, uh. Dr tra killer drones, you can kill drones, drones, stuff like that, yeah. Kill people. Then Ghost came out, and this is what I knew. Yeah. You're fighting aliens now. <laughs> yeah. And, and that, but I was basically done. You're fighting aliens. But that's the thing, they couldn't come out with Modern Warfare 4 because that would be really confusing if you think about it, because there was a Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, <laughs> or if there was a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, people would be like, what? <laughs> My parents would be buying the wrong game for Christmas. So, <coughs> four. and then Advanced Warfare came out at Exosuits. Now that's really making it like Halo, for two games that used to be really different. Yeah. One used to be World War II, and one used to be... Vietnam, yeah. I think. Yeah. No, I mean, World War II was Black Ops, and Call of Duty started in World War II. Where did Halo start? Like, UNSC War Against Worlds, I guess. No, well, they started out with Covenant, and... And then whatever, uh, it's kind of confusing, because if you watch some of the movies, they're fighting terrorists, especially whenever you start out watching, whenever you start watching Forward Onto Dawn, they talk about fighting terrorists. Yeah. So that means that they, they don't know about the aliens for the longest time, after yeah. the rings exploded, they're fighting terrorists. What if, what if the, this is kind of a crazy theory, but what if it was like Call of Duty started and then it just led, 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 even though they're two different companies, what if it led into <laughs> Halo? Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, it would be cool. Yeah, like, like in the last Call of Duty, see you put next to the Halo ring. And you're like, <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, a little strange, but... I ain't talk about Call of Duty all day. Because <laughs> even though a lot of people are like, well, if you, uh, <laughs> I ain't been talking about this one for a while because we only have one more topic left and there's no way we're going to cover it. 30 minutes left. Yeah, so let's talk about, I guess we could talk about this one for a long time. Yeah. Change my scene. So, um, you want to just go through the whole storyline of Call of Duty? Because that's... Uh, I, yeah, if you want. So, start off, first Call of Duty. I didn't really play those that much because I wasn't allowed to. <coughs> when I was playing the PS2. Um, first Call of Duty, World War II. I was so more of a ratchet and quite good. 
Bracket, like Lego Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, my cousin always, like, they still play all the Lego games. Dude, I, the first Lego Star Wars and then the second one. I don't know. I, I think I had Lego Star Wars. I had one game few. <laughs> and then I moved to Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I had, um, PlayStation 2. Oh, that's, that's what I played for the whole time. I had an awesome Transformers game. <laughs> It was I had a Transformers game. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. So you could throw donuts. Yeah. Uh, was oh yeah. Kind of. I even though this is going way off topic, if you want to talk about Battlefield Hardline, you remind me. Go ahead. Of a thing. Just this is gaming in general. Some big topic. Hardline, bring it back to. <laughs> yeah. And then they jumped to it's like cops versus robbers. It's basically what it is. Set in a battle I don't know about it. Yeah. I was doing really good on Battlefield whenever I was supposed to play be playing games on Friday. I'm really, really bad at Battlefield. <laughs> well, the other day I was like I flicked around to everybody on this map, I don't know what it's called. But it was like Team Deathmatch. And I flicked around to everybody and I have like the ACWR, it's like the ACR pretty much. And flanked around everybody and I got to this hall and they were like their whole team, like seven people I guess, or six, or somewhere around there, were all in this one hallway trying to fight my other teammates. I was like, oh shh. <laughs> so, I, so I, I reloaded, I came out, killed three, and then went and reloaded again. And I got down and walked out. And then, like, one by one, they all started coming out of this room. <laughs> so I was like, you know, my cockroaches. <laughs> but I killed them all. And that's whenever I figured out that I'm okay at Battlefield now. I'm pretty bad at it. Yeah, I really want to play Hardline. My sister just got it last night. Do you know why it's, like, only 40? Why? I don't know. I'm asking you if you know why. I played the beta for it. Was it good? <laughs> I hated it. I only played it once. <coughs> Did you play the multiplayer or just the multiplayer? I like multiplayer. I, I don't think I finished the Battlefield 4 storyline because I just got one. I didn't finish the Advanced Warfare storyline, which is something new for me because I thought it was going to be great because they had Kevin Spacey and they were all pumping it up, but I don't know. I just kind of lost interest. I like the ghost storyline. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool, just the multiplayer was... I love the multiplayer during the setup. I, I hate it. It's a hiking simulator. It was mad, bad at it. If they, they had better, if they had better teams. Bigger teams. Yeah. That, that would be a lot more fun if they had like a 12 on 12 thing, because the maps are giant. Or a big team. Or like... I don't know if they have it, but one of the Call of Duty games, it was like three teams against three teams. Or like, this team against this team against this team. And you all fought. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Oh, I keep going on the sneeze. <laughs> it's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> keep, keep crying over there, girl. It was cold in Indiana for one day, and I got sick. <laughs> yeah. I was camping, so... I didn't get sick, but on Monday, I got a horrible cold, and I was and I would put my eye up if I heard it. That's where my eye hurt. <laughs> that would have been kind of funny. <laughs> Dustin didn't think it actually happened, did it? Boom! And I think I pieced it up and hit me in the face. Have you ever had waterproof firecrackers? That's how it happened. <laughs> You put it in water. The day this huge contraption had like a bomb type thing. But whatever it happened, it sort of sawdust and a bunch of other pieces of firework at me. Did you like use manure in a pressure cooker? <coughs> That's awful. It's a Boston bombing joke. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we all know. <laughs> yeah, now we all know that I'm crazy. Well, you want to have Mountain Dew? I guess. They came out with new flavors, Dylan. What is it? Sangarino Blast. I he had it yesterday. He only wants me to say it because he doesn't want to. Yeah. 
Well, forget it. I was going to say cantina. <laughs> <laughs> cantina blast. <laughs> but no, I, I haven't had it yet. I wanted to. It tastes like strawberries, I think. <laughs> you had it yesterday and you think it tastes like strawberries. And they brought, as you guys can see, they brought Baja Blast back in the can. So they're about to get a lot of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like the McRib, basically, of drinks. I hate the McRib. I've never had one because I always thought it looked gross. They try pretty hard, they look gross. <laughs> I mean, they try pretty hard to make it look good, but they fail. <laughs> well, because their workers just slop it together. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. McDonald's is okay, but I can only eat it every once in a while because if I eat it more than once in a week, I get sick. So that's, that's my beef with McDonald's. But we're talking about Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. Shut up, Dustin. What do you say? How's the podcast going? How does he know we're doing a podcast? <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, I told him we were, but it, we don't do it right now. Maybe he's outside my window. <laughs> so, that was the noise. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sagarita Blast, Baja Blast, I hope they come out with like a great one. And for all of you who didn't know, you got Taco Bell, and you ask him <coughs> for a freezy, you can get them mixed. Can? And I mixed the Sangarita Blast and the Baja Blast. Never had anything better. <laughs> Never had anything. I, I'm, now I'm going to have to try that. One time, I remember I was going to play games. It's before me and Jordan were friends with my other friend Zach that lives in Arizona now. You live in Arizona? Yeah. I thought you were going to live there. You think he was going to college? I think he so much. I think he moved to Wisconsin last year. <laughs> er, um, Arizona. But, enough about Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do it. He didn't do I'm that. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, it's too late. <laughs> I don't accept your apology. So. Well, I guess for the rest of the time, we're going to talk about our channel. I don't remember what I was going to say. We're going to talk about our channel. But I, I had something to say. Yes, yes. <laughs> no! I can't do it. <laughs> I had something to say. Um, oh yeah, one time I was gaming with Zach. And so I took, I was like, Mom, you have to take me to Taco Bell and then to the gas station because I'm going to be up all night playing video games with Zach. So she took me to Taco Bell. I got all the Doritos Locust tacos, oh, like all idea. the flavors, that was a bad idea. and I got a Baja Blast icy thing or slushy, whatever they call it there. A Baja Blast nachos. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? No, it wasn't actually. But so I got all three of those. Went home, played for like an hour, because she went, to, she took me to the gas station. Too, and that's whenever I found out that they sold these in cans. I was like, oh, this is so big. Why is this so big? I didn't know they did this. And so, yeah, and I played with Zach, and then we were up till like 5 in the morning, and we got the Google, Google Plus hangout. Oh. Price called Home Depot around the world. Have you ever heard uh, Zach prank all people? Mm-mm. I heard him, well, I mean, I heard him prank call that night, but... He's was, pretty good at it. Whenever I called Home Depot, the one here, I was like, Hello, um, me and my papa are trying to build a tree house. I need to know how much the wood is. <laughs> I need to buy some of your wood, sir. <laughs> and he was like, um... So, you're going to have to have your dad call me back. <laughs> and they transferred me to like six different places to try to find. I, I was transferred here. And I was like, do you know what to do? Like, no, I'll transfer you here. And eventually, I, I ended up right back where I started. Not doing <laughs> anything about treehouses building. <laughs> so that was sad. Uh, my friend Dragon, he's pretty dumb. I told him not to do it. Get just going to warn you guys now. Get not you. my idea. I told him not to. He... 
he tried to prank call a suicide hotline. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here's how it went. It wrong for like 10 minutes. Oh my god. And no one ever answered. He's like, what am I supposed to do? Leave a message? Like, what do you do? No, I kind of want to do that. Is that bad? Then I kind of want to prank call a suicide hotline. <laughs> and he tried to... He was prank calling all these hotlines. And he tried to do a safe to tell hotline. <laughs> and this is his cousin who tried to do that. I'm telling him, like, guys, you're going to be caught in trouble. And he called him. And he said, he's like, my name, well, this is a safe to tell. My name is Zach. He's like, hey, Zach. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, what happened? What did you tell? He said, I, I'm scared to tell you. I don't want my parents to get angry at me. He said, okay, what is it? I might. He said. He said it like this. I microwave my hamster. <laughs> <laughs> and the the have people you never done that before. I have. The people were like, oh well. <laughs> safe to tell isn't the place for this. <laughs> I can put you forward to a therapist if you want. And he's like, no, it's okay. I'll just tell him. <laughs> Walmart's the best to print them. I say a podcast that we need to do um, next, like, November is Road to Black Ops 3. Have you ever seen those? No. You, you call, like, Walmart and GameStops all around the world and you try to get a um, copy of Black Ops 3 early. <laughs> and they get so mad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, but we can't do that. I was like, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I have $500 burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> Let's just say, you get the 60, or you give the 60 to them, the rest goes to you. <laughs> You're like, sorry, I can't do that. I don't want to lose my job. I was like, <laughs> Like, what do you make per hour, sir? <laughs> <laughs> you want to try it real fast? What's the next game going to do? I soon. I don't know. I got popcorn dealt with all the mushrooms from the stupid popcorn. Can you look it up? Because I need, I need to go wash my hands anyway. Final Fantasy. When does it come out? Uh, it, I mean, it's gotta be coming out. Um, Ooh, the book coming out tomorrow. Is it 25th today? It's gotta be like coming out in a week or something. Cause no, the book coming out like tomorrow. Legit, this is even better. Okay. Right. Magicka 2, Badlands, Game of the Year edition. Akiba's Trip, Undead, and Undressed. <laughs> Is that the whole game? What, what's it called? I keep those tripped, undead, and undressed. Should we do? Wait, what's that? Yeah, okay, we want a PlayStation 2 one. Do Magicka 2. Here, get out your phone. Magicka 2? You want to use the computer? Ah. <laughs> Just call Say it might be louder so they can hear it. How would we use the computer? Google Plus. You can call people off the computer? Yeah. What? You just gotta get the thing out and then use the phone. Get, get like a number of a game stop or something. Better than good old David Letterman. <laughs> oh my god, what? Wait, here's one of the, the most anticipated games of 2015. Let's see. Best game, best game ever. Oh, cool. We've been playing a podcast so that way the computer would stay on. And I just realized that there's a new um, PK. Silent podcast. Hill. When's that coming out? Let's say we need one that's gonna come out like soon. Google. <sighs> one second, guys. We're trying to get. Sorry it. about this. this okay, well, um, this is not what I was looking for. Change profiles to our official. 
Missed the instructions for Dutchess. Continue. Let's do the one up. Alright, hold on. Sorry about this, guys. We really want to get a prank call right because that'd be pretty funny. Yeah. 18, yeah. Minutes. 18 minutes. So we got, yeah. We got we time to kill. We can do a couple. Um. Um. I know it's. Can't remember how to do this. Because that's the whole point <laughs> of doing this, so they can hear it. I should be able to figure it out. Like a lot of fire in your backyard. How about we not do that? <laughs> <laughs> Since mom, that's, that's when my mom was like, "Yeah, they, do, they can't be there any later than like five because I don't want you guys to." Mm -hmm. it, was. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, guys. Yeah, I was. Really heard that, but it wasn't me. Try to blame it on Please me. wait. I got it going. Install. Click install. I just, I don't know how long this is going to take. Just to double click. <laughs> no, it's down here. How are you supposed to be down there? I'm going to show it to you. What are you? What are you? Your computer. You're gonna shut the fuck up. You're just gonna kill you. 
Number. Yeah, but when you find a thing and I'll look up their number. Just ask about Magica too. That is. That's a new eye. Well, so make a bullshit about it. Make them mad. <laughs> is that the game where you uh you play stuff? Fight zombies. The Elder Scrolls Online is coming out. When does that come out? I don't know. Look it up, you fuck. <laughs> no. Over <laughs> there. <laughs> Near Dallas. Why are you looking it up in that bar? You're supposed to look it up in there. Shut up. Look, look, just call one of those numbers. I, I really think they think we live in Texas, don't they? Hey, let's do that. 2.6 miles? <laughs> <laughs> From where? <laughs> Maybe the GameStop in Texas is huge. Did your mom's girlfriend used to live in Texas? <laughs> no. Not that I know. Did they really? There it is. Call it. I wonder if there's a phone on here. Um, ah. Doesn't matter. Just call him off your phone, Dylan. Alright, go ahead. Me? Am I talking to him? Yeah. What do I have to do? You look up again then. I don't know. Dad, you got you. No. No. It's coming out tomorrow. Just say something. Yeah. You? How much time do you have? Releases. <laughs> Wait, ten minutes? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't have much time from that firecracker, dude. It hurt, dude. Uh, uh, Shut up. We were trying to blow up a caterpillar and everything. And what did you say? Um, February, March, April, May. <laughs> Space Hulk, May 2nd. It's already out. I know. What's the date? The 25th, I think. It's the 24th. Magic it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Van Helsing 3. That'll work. Um, 3D yet. Wait, what? I'm gonna see what else is out. Um, Wait, try and wager the price for an Xbox One now. Octodad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did that come out? May 26th. Do it, that's two days away. Do walk through there. Um, what is that? I don't know, just do it. It's like a... Uh, let's see what it is first. Before we run that time, Dale Stickles. Shut up. <laughs> uh, 
block storm? No, we, we gotta do. We gotta do that dad move. Alright, let's look at the figure out what this is. I think I'm gonna come up with something bad. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Love and father carrying husband's secret octopus. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> oh, that, that would be funny. Do it! Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have the Octo Dad game? The uh, Loving Father, or the what is it? What does it say? Loving Father. <laughs> Living Father. Secret octopus. Do it! Do it! Ask. Time is of the essence to us to goals. So dead. Loving father, caring husband, secret octopus. Ask him, follow him. What, what's, the, what's it called? Octodad 2 or 3? Swords and soldiers, too. Octodad, deadliest catch. On the Vita. <laughs> um, you, you get the call. Okay. Okay. Hey, do you have Octodad? <laughs> uh, this came out yet. <laughs> I understand, but <laughs> you have it. <laughs> so, should we star six, seven? <laughs> Did she put the one before it? Hmm? The one? What do you mean? It'll be one. Two, one, four, eight, two, three, ten, sixty-one. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> you hear that? Two, fourteen, eight, two, three. I don't care if they call them. We have like one subscriber. <laughs> one zero six one. I understand that you have. I understand that you can't fill it, but do you have it? Figure out their name too. Two, seven, seven. 
zero <laughs> people die. One, two, three, six. Oops. No, don't call the tire mm -hmm. lube. But I want some lube. I bet you do. You need it for your mom. I don't think you will for some reason. <laughs> Wait, zero three five? Zero three three five. Mm. Let's start because you're running. Thank you for calling Walmart. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome for calling Walmart. <laughs> Say that with a You're welcome for calling Walmart. Yeah, for Walmart, can I help you? Can I go to electronics? Um, do you sell Octodad? Do we what? Octodad? Octodad? Dead, Deadly's Catch. It's a real thing. It's an actual game. What you say Uh, I think it's the Vita. The PlayStation Vita. Oh no, we don't have that. Yeah. Is it out? Have a nice day. Bye. I have an idea. Did you? Hope you guys don't get motion sickness. <laughs> 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 